Base meme coins have been hot lately. So in this video, we're going to take a look at all things base meme coin related. So we'll take a look at some of the top meme coins, some of the smaller meme coins, and maybe even jump into base scan, show you guys how to kind of check out the wallet and the holdings. And uh, also show you probably on Uniswap how to trade these and make sure you're trading the correct ones using the contract address, things like that. But hopefully uh, at the very least, you guys find some meme coins you didn't know about in this video and maybe get some exposure to those and, and uh, do what you do with that. So we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna start with Toshi, but before we do that, if you guys do enjoy this video, please hit that thumbs up down below. And as always subscribe if you want more content like this, not only meme coins, but airdrops, uh, altcoin alpha, uh, Bitcoin happenings, crypto market news, stuff like that. I try to do daily videos and daily, um, weekly meme coin live streams as well. So here we are with Toshi. Now that we got all that good stuff out of the way, uh, Toshi is, I would think the story is that Coinbase or someone on the base team developed Toshi. It's named after Brian Armstrong's cat Toshi, which I presume is named after Satoshi Nakamoto, right? So uh, Toshi's been around for a while. Let's see when this uh, August of 23 here and it has a really impressive chart as you guys can see nothing but climbing right here we could zoom in a little bit too on the last month if you want to see that I mean it just looks great right so this this is one of the best meme coin charts I've ever seen honestly and I think it's got some ways to go yet so it's up 1600 percent almost 1700 in a year and really that's more like eight months so that's that's really really good so We'll just start off here, uh, show you guys a couple things, and then I won't do this for every coin, but I'll do it for some of them. So on coin market cap, if you guys want to see what is going on with a coin, just come down here to Chain Explorers. Click on that. You're going to load into Base Scan or some other scan if it's not on Base. We can see that there are 58,000 holders, and that's increased a bit here lately. So uh, some popularity has. Uh, found its way into Toshi. So come down here and click on holders. And I'll scroll this up since my camera is probably blocking some of this, but you can see some of the biggest wallets here, right? So no no real whales here. We got 3%, 2%. I mean, th those are, I mean, th these are whales, but nobody's holding half of it or 25% of the supply. So you got you got some big boys here, um, but that's it. 3% is not, not the worst I've seen out there by, by a long shot. So uh, distribution seems fairly decent with, uh, with Toshi. So now if you want to go trade Toshi, you're going to need a few things. First off, you're going to need a wallet. You could use Coinbase wallet. That's totally fine. You could use MetaMask if you want to. That's what I'm going to use for this or any other wallet, even Phantom wallet. You can, uh, I think Phantom wallet and, and things like that. Basically anything that supports Ethereum. Um, I haven't actually used Phantom wallet, but I'm pretty sure you can. should probably say, uh, probably look into those things before I say them, huh? Uh, I've used it for Ethereum, just not on base. So grab the contract address over here on the left. It's going to be OX something, 0x something if it's on Ethereum base or any of the layer twos. So copy that, hit the two squares to copy it. You're going to go in this case to Uniswap. So app.uniswap.org will take you there and you can type in, paste in that address up top and there's Toshi for you. You get the chart for Toshi and then if you wanted to trade it, say you had some ETH, which is what you should have, you could trade it for Toshi here. Um, so a couple things when you do trade these meme coins, uh, especially on Uniswap, really anywhere, uh, you're going to need something to pay the gas fees and that's ETH. So if you guys have Coinbase, it's really easy to send ETH from Coinbase to the base network. You just buy some ETH, hit withdraw, and then you select base network when you withdraw and send it to whatever wallet address you have. Uh, once it's in your wallet, you come here, you connect your wallet, which is this top right button here, and then it will show you your ETH and you can then swap it for your Toshi. Very, very, very easy. One of the easiest things to do in crypto, to be honest. It's incredibly easy. I, uh, when this all came out, it was very confusing to me, but it is it is so easy. Once you guys do it a few times, you'll understand. Um, there are a few things to note here, and, and like I said, I won't do this with every video. Slippage. Slippage you may have to change. Uh, set to 0.5 typically automatically. You might have to put this higher depending on liquidity of the token that you're trading. And what slippage is, is the price that we're quoted here versus the price that we actually pay when we hit swap. If that changes to the upside of 0.5%, it's canceled and we aren't charged anything over that 0.5% because we, we set the, the tolerance to that. So um, it's just a, a time difference and the prices are always changing type thing. So that's what slippage is. And the smaller the meme coin, the less liquidity 
uh, the more that that price might be changing. So that's, that's one thing you have to do, but typically for a lot of these, you can just do it on auto uh, or 0.5 and you'll be fine. So uh, that, that's about that for uh, Uniswap and all that good stuff. So let's start looking at some more meme coins here now, now that you guys know basically what we've got going on. And, and I will check some of the base scan just to see if we can spot anything that's maybe a 10% or something like that. So uh, Roostcoin, now, I don't know much about Roostcoin. Uh, I've seen it in the top uh, gainers here and there. Uh, came out in April, it maybe time of recording this video, maybe a week old. Uh, we'll, we'll check out their Twitter real quick. We'll do this for a couple of them, just to see if they have a, a good following. If you don't have a good following, if you don't have a good meme culture behind you, you're just not gonna, you're not gonna get anybody to join you, right? So, um, oh, Joe Rogan there, huh? So, I mean, you got some good memes here, right? Seems pretty active. So that, that's what you're going to need to keep people engaged. So Roostcoin could do something. I don't know if anybody cares about a blue chicken, but I don't know, maybe. So Base God, we can look at that too. Base God is, is an older meme. That, well, by, <laughs> by base standards, it's, it's kind of older. It's from uh, about two months ago, February of 24, it came out. Uh, let's take a look at the base scan real quick of this. So we, we've got the jump in holders here again. Uh, what are we at? 20,000, not too bad. 250,000 transfers. Let's check out our holders. All right, we got 3.4% on, on the largest that we're seeing right here. So that's, that's pretty good. That's uh, not too bad at all. So base gods, it's had some highs, it's come down. I, I expect some of these to start pumping up again. It really depends on what Bitcoin does in the next few days. And, and I do suspect that in the next day or two, we're gonna see a, a pushing back towards our all-time high for Bitcoin. We'll see if we get close to it. There's a pretty big sell wall right around 75,000. Um, however, if these if Bitcoin's going up, these are gonna go up too. So I do think that this is sufficient time for Base God to have cooled off and shoot back up. So we'll see what happens there. So here we have FOMO Base. Let's see what we can see on um, uh, Twitter and then Base Scan with that too. First off, their Twitter, okay. <laughs> Um, I think, is this off the, there was an old FOMO coin, wasn't there? I thought there was. I mean, they're memeing for sure. Maybe, right? So 7,500 holders. Let's take a look at those wallets. And of course, one person could own many wallets here, so we can't really be certain that it's not the same person, but we have an almost 10% wallet here. So that's a pretty big wallet. Most of these others are on the front page about a half percent to a percent. So pretty big. Um, okay, and we got Brett here. Brett's looking, that was a day, week, month chart now. And the furthest we can go out here, let's see, when, when did Brett come out? Looks like it was early March, so about a month old now. And Brett's been doing nothing but climbing. Brett's, Brett's got a really good looking chart here and it's only gone up, um, uh, I'd say about, it's gone up over 100%, that's not quite right. So Brett, Brett's doing pretty good. Uh, I think Brett could take off, to be honest. The market cap's a little high on this though, but I still think Brett can do some uh, do some pretty big moving here, just, just looking at this chart. So. Uh, what was our low? Two cents up to seven cents. So from its low, it looks like it's three or four X. So that's, that's pretty good. Probably three X there. Um, let's look at the wallets on Brett, of course, real quick. Uh, 69,000, almost 70,000 holders. That's, that's not too shabby. Oh yeah. Check that out. You got a 10% uh, deployer. Okay. And then, uh, a 5% for the next biggest. Okay. Mm, you got you got some whales out there, but you always will. So Brett looks Brett looks okay. Boge. Let's see what we got for Boge here. Seven point two eight million on the market cap. Boge has been heading down. The you know you never know with these ones. Uh, let's check their Twitter real quick. Okay. Got some math going on there. 
you know, again, a decent, decent community. It looks fairly active. All those were, I think, within a day of, uh, posted within a day, last 24 hours. So, you know, you do have some activity here. So, not too bad for the community here. So, Boge might be all right as far as that goes. And then let's check out the Chain Explorer real quick. Uh, 7,000 holders. Mm, you got some whales in here. You know, that's about, what? 20% of supply right there by held by maybe 10 people. Something to know. Um, what's what's the volume here? So 7.28 million on market cap 426, 426,000 the volume. Okay. Here's another one. This one's newer. Uh, it's, it's this is small by the way, not tiny tiny, but it's 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 tiny. Uh, this is Brian Armstrong Coinbase USDC 2012, and it might, I've seen it with Normie after it, after the name, so I'm not sure, that's that's kind of weird to me, let's uh, let's check it out on base scan real quick, we got a Twitter, they do have a Twitter, we'll go to that too, so this one's actually been around for a minute, I think, let me pull up, uh, uh, end of March, I thought it had been around a little bit longer, so end of March, not too bad, there's another Brian Armstrong political names after it i forget which one that is yeah this is the normie one um it's ridiculous yeah okay they're active they're active uh you know i didn't see how many followers they had let's check that out real quick i have 1400 followers not a ton not a ton but uh, they have been they have been moving, so those follow that, that count the follower count might might increase here. Uh, what's their two hundred thousand on volume? That's pretty good for how small they are. Uh, let's go to their base scan real quick. Uh, Twenty three hundred holders. That's that's small. That's fitting though. Six percent. Okay, I was I was expecting a little bit bigger on the the biggest wallet here, but these guys could be hiding this between many wallets, right? The, the owners could be the top fifty wallets for all we know. Um, but but when you do see one that's huge, it's either you know a, a community token holdings or something like that, or a, I don't know their war chest, so to speak. So six percent, three percent on the next one, one point seven, one point five. So again, you got you got probably I don't know maybe twenty percent in the top ten, but not uncommon to be honest, especially with meme coins. So nothing standing out as terrible there, but that does not rule anything out for these meme coins. Uh, once you once you spot a trend. Chances are the next meme coins have already moved on to something that you can't find for uh, tricking you, rugging you, stuff like that. So here we have Bald, which another Brian Armstrong coin, right? So Bald, let's check out their Twitter real quick. Look at that, Bald. We'll all be there one day, probably. Hope not. Um, not a lot going on with Bald here on their Twitter. They do have 9,400 followers older dates check out just starting to pump again which who knows maybe maybe this will start moving but this is an older one let's look at let's look at base scan real quick for this yeah 1300 13,000 holders okay ooh this is a burn wallet or something what is this this 24% I'm curious on that too uh, what are they doing over here? I'm not going to pull that up in my adult. Yeah. All right. Beyond that, it's it's fairly evenly distributed, it looks like. So, interesting. Not sure on this one, guys. Be careful. Uniswap Sushi. All right. So, um, I wasn't going to cover DGen, but I did. It's that Farcaster coin or Warp Cat, whatever it is. Um, basically kind of, uh, I think it was for tipping or something at first, but now people are, are really getting on board with it and using it. So I'm going to pull that chart down for you. There you guys go. So pretty good looking chart on the month. Like really good, honestly. Uh, what, what's their gains for 30 days? 1777, 1,777%. And that's down significantly from their high. Will they tell me on here? It should 48% down from their high. So they were two X from where they're at now. 
potential. I mean, that's a good spot to buy in. And you can see they've kind of found some support here around 30 to probably 35 cents. Yeah. 33 cents, maybe. Not too bad for DGen, honestly. This is pretty wild. Uh, so it's kind of a meme coin. Let's look at it. Let's check out their. Um, let's check out their. What do I want to do here? Um, I'll go to base scan. Check out their base scan. Just see how they compare. This is a pretty big proje project. Oh, of course, I can't pull everything I need. We'll get this on the next one. I don't want to go through everything here with you guys. But pretty good project, I think. Uh, maybe maybe a mean coin, maybe not. I don't know what you guys want to consider this one, but it will probably make somebody some money here as Farcaster is getting pretty popular. Or Warpcast, whatever, whatever you use. Uh, base Pro Shop. So I looked this one up. I think it was last night or night before. We did a meme stream uh, at the time of recording this video anyway, and which are, are basically live streams I do. And I would just goof around, look at memes, see what's hot, see what's pumping for the day, see what's coming up, stuff like that. So saw this one and I was like, no way. We're going to look at it. So it's only a couple days old. Uh, okay. You know what? I said, I don't know if this will do it. I don't know if this is going to pump. And then look at that. It pumps. Of course. Just when you think it's not going to, it pumps. So um, 3,800 holders. Or wallets anyway. We've got one big wallet with 5%. Contract address there. So biggest two percent, one percent after that, a couple two percenters. So we got some whales in here holding, but I, I don't know. I'm not super worried about them. Uh, let's check out their Twitter because maybe maybe this will go somewhere. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of funny. So it, it, it's really not what it kind of is. It's, if they actually get these hats and stuff going, okay. All right, they'll take off if they do that. I think. <laughs> this is pretty ridiculous. So uh, this could be a short-lived one. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But there you go. All right. So you know what I did not look up was B ship. So we'll do that real quick to end this, and then uh, hopefully you guys can go check it out. Uh, any of these that you really liked or, or think you might like, and let me know what's up and coming for these. Um, there, there's always something new on base right now, and a lot of memes are building on Binance too, and that's probably going to be my next video. Uh, but I think base is where we're going to find a little bit more sustainable meme coin, meme coinage happening. Uh, so B ships actually kind of not doing that bad. I know, I know they're down from their high and you guys are probably like, Oh, well look how far down they are, which is by the way, about 66% down from up here. So if you bought up there, yeah, they're doing awful, but honestly from where they launched and where they've been staying, not too bad. Um, it is a copy of Shiba Inu, right? The name, but that, that can work in its favor sometimes. So let's let's go to base scan on this. Um, Thirty-seven thousand holders or wallets anyway. Oh, that's a big one there at four percent. I got the contract um, address there at two percent. Um, our wallet, I should say, one point six, one point four. So you got some pretty big whales in base sheep here. One percent, one percent, one percent. These are. These are interesting right here. Um, okay. So you got a few whales in there. Watch out for those, but but not terrible. What's the market cap here? 7.7. .7. Not huge. That's actually smaller. Uh, can still do one of those uh, probably several thousands in percentage increases pretty easily. Volume. There's more volume than there is market cap. Hmm. So these market caps are sometimes off for these memes. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, so sometimes that's a discrepancy that you guys should take into account. But uh, that that's actually really good volume on this coin. And it's it's actually kind of holding, kind of gaining, depending how you look at that. So we'll go to their Twitter. Why not? Uh, let's see. What did that just say? Okay. They're in a splash of color. Uh, yeah, they, I mean, they're memeing. We've got Matrix meme. We've got push-up meme. We've got uh, whatever that is. Yeah. I mean, still a copy of another meme coin, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it might actually move because these guys are active. How many followers did they have? 6,000. Not, not bad, so. All right, well... We'll wrap it up there, guys. Uh, hopefully you saw some meme coins that are new on base. Remember, when you do trade these, you can go to markets right here. 
you can see where they're trading at. You can find uh, which ones have the highest liquidity. And my, my window's a little bit small, so you can't see it, but the, the volume's over here. Uh, but you can see this is traded on Uniswap for the most part. Sushi's got it. Pancake Swap's got it too. So you get some options there. And the contract address is huge. You want to copy that and paste it into your search window or search bar when you go to those DEXs so that you make sure you are getting this exact coin right here that you're looking at. So super important that you guys do that. Otherwise, you can get rugged because anybody can name a coin BSHIB and there could be 10 of them. And you don't want to just throw a dart and pick one and pick the wrong one, right? So um, keep that in mind. Remember to check their Twitter, check volume, check uh, base scan which is Chain Explorers in this case. You just click that, it'll go to whatever Explorer you need and check it out. Make sure nothing nothing seems too funky to you guys and uh, uh, be careful because there are a lot of people out there trying to rug you guys and I'm trying to avoid covering any rugged or honeypot or any, any sort of scammy, scummy meme coins. So that's it for me guys. If you enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up and again, subscribe. I try to do these videos often, cover all sorts of meme coins, new releases, new airdrops, altcoin, alpha for you guys, Bitcoin, daily news, crypto daily news, live. Um, I try to do live once a day and then uh, try to do some live meme streams too, where we just have some fun. So find some new low cap meme coin gems for you guys. So if you like that stuff, hit subscribe and that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Thanks for coming out.